This dog owner grieves the loss of her beloved dog, friend, and companion because of Parvo. In the Philippines and anywhere in the world, Parvo is every new puppy and dog owner's worst nightmare. In a matter of days, a perfectly healthy puppy can go from playful and active to fatally ill. Parvo in dogs is a preventable disease. All new puppy owners and breeders need to be aware of the risks of Parvo, how to prevent it, and what to do if a puppy catches the Parvo virus. Parvo is a highly contagious virus. It causes an infectious gastrointestinal illness in puppies and young dogs, and without treatment, it is potentially deadly. Part of what makes the virus so dangerous is the ease with which it is spread through the canine population. The virus spreads either by direct contact with an infected dog, or through feces. The dog will continue to shed the virus while he is sick and for up to 10 days after he has recovered. This means that accurate diagnosis and quarantine are essential for the health of your dog and of other dogs, as well. Young dogs between 6 weeks and 6 months old, unvaccinated, or incompletely vaccinated dogs are most at risk for contracting the virus. It can be transmitted in two ways. The first is by direct contact through the nose and mouth with infected poop, which can happen when a dog sniffs or licks a surface or another dog that has been contaminated with feces. Since puppies explore their world through smell and love to mouth things, it is easy to see how a curious puppy could contract the parvovirus. The second method of transmission is through indirect contact. The virus can survive on clothing, equipment, on human skin, and in the environment. Indirect transmission occurs when a puppy comes into contact with a contaminated person, object, or environment. The parvovirus is a particularly resilient virus. It can survive indoors at room temperature for at least two months and is resistant to many commonly used cleaners and disinfectants. Outdoors, the parvovirus can survive for months, and even years, if protected from direct sunlight. This is why hospital quarantine of the infected dog and proper cleanup of the environment are especially important. Every dog owner and breeder should know the symptoms of parvo in dogs. The most common symptoms are, severe bloody diarrhea, lethargy, anorexia, fever, vomiting, weight loss, weakness, depression, dehydration any or all of these symptoms merit a call to your veterinarian. Even if parvo is not the cause, the symptoms could be the result of another illness that requires veterinary attention. If you suspect that your dog has parvo, he needs immediate veterinary attention. Parvo is a potentially fatal virus that requires intensive care, and the sooner your canine is diagnosed the better. Your vet will most likely recommend hospitalizing your dog in an isolation ward, where he will offer supportive care and monitor your dog for secondary infections. Depending on the severity of the case, your vet may prescribe a series of medications, including antibiotics to prevent bacterial infections from entering your dog through the damaged walls of his intestines. To make matters worse, Parvo also reduces your dog's ability to fight infection by lowering his white blood cell count. Your vet will provide your dog with the supportive fluids, nutrition, and medications that will hopefully save his life, which is why taking your dog to the vet is the best thing you can do for him. Most puppies that survive the first three to four days will make a complete recovery, which usually takes around one week. Your vet will walk you through the recovery process and tailor a recovery plan best suited to your puppy's needs. Parvo is a preventable disease, but even vaccinated dogs are not 100% protected from the virus. Vaccines for the parvovirus are recommended for all puppies and are usually given in a series of three shots when the pup is between 6 to 8 weeks old, again at 10 to 12 weeks, and at 14 to 16 weeks. A booster shot is administered one year later and every three years after that. Unvaccinated puppies and incompletely vaccinated puppies should not be exposed to unvaccinated dogs or to environments where unvaccinated dogs could have introduced the parvo virus, like dog parks or boarding facilities. While it might be tempting to take your new puppy with you everywhere you go, 
her health depends on keeping her safe until she is fully vaccinated against this life-threatening disease. Unvaccinated puppies can be safely socialized with fully vaccinated adult dogs in safe environments like your home. Understanding parvo in dogs is the first step toward preventing the spread of this dangerous virus. Make sure your puppy gets vaccinated at the appropriate ages and protect your unvaccinated and partially vaccinated puppies by keeping them in a safe environment. If you suspect your puppy has parvo, call your vet immediately. God bless us all. Thank you for watching.